Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your Timeless Love reading. This is going to be a you versus them. What your energies are, your feelings, your thoughts, what theirs are. We're going to look at the overall joint energies of the overall relationship, where things are going, and some final advice and insights. Now, this is readings not going to be for everybody. Do make sure you check out your other planetary placements. And if this is your story and you want to dig deeper, I do urge you to book a private reading with me. You could do that through my website or you can email me. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. The thumbs up tells YouTube that, th that you are enjoying this video, that this resonates with you. And YouTube will push it out. That is a great way to support my channel. And when I do this reading, keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. When I'm reading your side and you're saying, no, 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 that's more my person, then that's the way it is. So it can be vice versa. Okay. Now, and without further ado, we are going to dig in, get to the table and dig into this reading. We're going to start with your overall energies between the two of you. What's going on in this connection? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides and ascended masters of the pure white light. What is the energies between Sagittarius and their person or person of interest? Okay, this, oh, this one. Okay, thank you, spirit. See what we have. Opportunity beckons. This is four of, um, four of cups energy. Somebody may have been sitting in contemplating and thinking about things, thinking about where this connection is going. And there seems to be some kind of opportunity coming for you, Sagittarius, giving and receiving. Um, this is like an even give and take here. So uh, balance. Well-deserved reward. Beautiful energy for you, Sagittarius. It's like you're being put up. Somebody's putting you up on a pedestal. Okay. There's a new op new romance, romantic opportunity that is an even give and take. That it's somebody is putting you up on a pedestal. Now, whether this is the person you're thinking about or, you know, I've seen this in these type of readings where this energy coincides with maybe there's a toxic energy with your with a person that you're involved with but this energy speaks about you know what letting something go and something new coming in or this could be somebody new or somebody that you are involved with if you are single this could be somebody that is coming into the picture okay so we are going to go ahead and dig into your energy and we are going to get into your person's energy Okay. Okay, so you had a shit load of cards fall on the floor. Excuse me one minute. Way too many cards. We're going to continue shuffling. I think it was just my shuffling there. Part of the deck went flying. So we're going to keep on going until Spirit says stop. Okay. Okay. You are sitting in the position of being single. I think that I'm speaking to mostly single people. If you're not single, this is... If you are in a connection, then... You're sitting in a place of being in a connection, but being very independent, okay? This is about having abundance, uh, maybe money coming in, and stability. It is like you are in the energy, what's on your mind, you're thinking about your independence. And some of you might even be thinking about freedom after a very painful betrayal. 
Ten of Swords energy. It is like you're you're sitting in this place of abundance and security, and it's like I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. Type of energy, and you you've went through a very troublesome betrayal, and you have been like kind of just hanging in there, um, not knowing what the future was holding, not knowing where things were going to go. Uh, I feel like you are sitting in a plate, and I want to put your person's cards out here. Just for a second. Okay. Now, I'm getting this sense of you're hanging in there. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going on. You know, you've gone through this really hurtful, painful situation here. And I feel that there's healing. It's like you are putting the, the, the worst behind you. You may have been seeing, you no longer sacrificing. You're no longer giving. And you are... You've kind of like been enlightened and seen things in a different light. And you are embracing your independence. Okay, let's dig into this a little bit more. Uh, Spirit, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles, please. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. So this is um, new beginnings. So you are starting a new passion and beginning a new road, creativity. It's something that you are really excited about. I think you are finally excited to release something and let something go. You might be letting go of a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, or you may be in, you, this could also be you taking on this energy as well. As you are thinking about a new passionate beginning, possibly with an earth sign. Or this is you becoming grounded and embracing a new start. You're embracing your independence. Uh, bringing in your own money. Five of Wands. Um, so what I feel, this is you were thinking about all the competition, all the conflicts that was going on. And, and I feel that this, actually what I'm getting here is you were having a lot of conflicts, maybe with an earth sign or somebody with earth in your chart. And you're looking for this, you are going towards a new beginning and this sense of independence. Okay, Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Swords here, please. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. King of Cups. So, Sagittarius. You've got somebody new. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is somebody who is very emotionally balanced. Somebody who is very knowledgeable, maybe even spiritual. This is somebody who has their cup of love in their hand. And they are very stable. And they are ready to commit. They're ready to make an offer to you. Page of Pentacles. There's that offer. There's that communication. So they are in touch. They are communicating how they feel. And they're and they're making it look like all rainbows. And happiness and bliss. Wonderful energy. Sagittarius, you are there is definitely, you know, you're in this energy of love. You're in this energy of, you know, you have two people here. You have one you're leaving behind. I kind of mentioned that in the beginning of this reading. And one that you're embracing that is coming in. We'll see who, which one shows up over here. But you are moving into this energy of happiness, blissfulness, fun. And I'm hearing fun in the sun with somebody. Um, this person may have children or you may have children. Okay. But I'm feeling like. I'm hearing a an innocence, innocence of a child. This is like a new beginning, a new path that you are embracing, and it's and it's very passionate. Beautiful. What is this? I was just gonna say, what is the hangman? Please, we got the star card. Okay, you are seeing your way out of the situation. You've broken yourself free. You are chasing your dreams. You're chasing. Your hopes, you're being divinely guided, and I'm seeing hearing the call or seeing the bigger picture. And I think the hangman energy with this is you are seeing the bigger picture. The universe has spoken, you've heard that call, you're seeing the bigger picture, you're being enlightened. Okay, 
and I'm hearing you are being set free. Beautiful. And there is like this new sense of hope. A new ray of hope coming to you. Knight of Pentacles. You know, you're finally making progress forward. Okay? It may be slow. Just saying. It might be slow. It might not be moving as quickly as you want it to. But there is a sense of loyalty. Okay? You and you this might be this is your you might be being very cautious and moving slowly in this energy because you want something solid. We got the ten of cups energy. Total happiness. You're being cautious about it, but you're happy. This is bringing somebody's putting a smile on your face. Three of Wands. It's like your ships, your plans are finally coming in. There is a sense of completion of a cycle here. Um, Spirit is showing me that you are moving away from an energy of conflict. Somebody you were con conflicted with. A battle that you were fighting. And you're finally moving into this energy of putting that behind you. And moving forward with, a connect with another connection is what Spirit is telling me. Now we'll see who's over here. Okay, so even though you have this new beginning, maybe this person's not in your life yet. I, you know your story, or maybe they are, but I, uh, but I feel that there is definitely this your per this person that is on your mind. They are conflicted. Okay, there is definitely some kind of stalemate here. They are not sure what they want. They're not making any kind of moves at this point. I, and I'm hearing, I'm going to wait and see what my Sagittarius does. I'm going to wait and see what my Sagittarius wants. And Devil Energy, that's Capricorn. And Two of Pentacles. So there, this is somebody who is juggling. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But there is a temptation here. This person over here... Um, they're not feeling very confident. I got to be honest with you, um, Sagittarius. You're in this beautiful energy, but this person is not. This person's con mentally conflicted. They are. There's this lack of balance, a lot of negative energy around them, a lot of fear. Maybe this person is afraid of losing you. But they are they are sitting there on the fence. They're not making any moves. Okay, what is this two of swords with Sagittarius person, please? What is this two of swords about? What is this stalemate, this conflict? This could be someone that you are butting heads with. This could be the one that that spirit that is on this is because this they are on your mind. Okay? They are on your mind. Even though you're thinking about a new beginning, they are still on your mind. And you are on theirs for sure. But they are very mentally conflicted. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Um, they may be conflicted over money and finances. They may be having some financial issues. And they're saying, well, I can't make a move right now. I can't do anything right now. I have um, financial things that I have to get settled. But I am hoping to move forward. So your person is looking at, they're going somewhere, they're being persistent, they're trying to work their way through something, whether this is through a job, or if this is, maybe they, your person is conflicted because they may be in another connection that they are trapped in, and they have been trying to find that balance, and they may be stuck in a connection because of financial obligations. Um, they want to put this behind them, and they're thinking about how are they going to move forward. Okay, um, three of pentacles. I definitely feel this is dealing with work and collaboration. This could even be third party energy. King of wands. They have their vision. They know what they want. Three of swords. But they know by making a decision, it's a painful decision. Somebody's going to get hurt in it. 
So what I, the energy that I'm getting here, um, um, Sagittarius, is that the person you are dealing with is in another connection. That they want you as much as you want them, but they need to break free. They need to break out of their cage. And they feel trapped right now. And this, this, this is screaming third party on your person's part. And like I said, the energies can be switched, vice versa, especially if you're a cross watcher. Okay. But somebody is trapped. And they want to break free. And they know that, so, that there is, there's no way of getting out of this without uh, some pain. Okay. What is this devil energy, please, spirit? What is this devil energy? World card. Okay, so this is a successful completion. They are ending a pain. They are ending a toxic cycle. They, they, de that's the movement that they are going. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I'm feeling that there could be a sense of loss in this, but at the same time, they're still going to maintain some financial stability. But I am feeling that there is a loss. They could be losing some fine, some money over this. You know, and you might be dealing with somebody who's very attached to their money. Okay. And maybe that's where the heartache is, having to part from the part with some money. And there seems to be a sense of even family. Four of swords. Uh, family issues that they are healing from. So I feel that your person may not be in a, an emotional state or a mental place right now to move forward in the connection. Not saying that they're not going to, but again, we've got this mental trap. They are mentally trapped. Okay. They're caught in their head. There's this devil energy, a lot of negative talk, negative lack of confidence. They are trying to break free. They are trying to find that spark within them. I get a sense of depression with your person. Okay, what is this two of pentacles, please? What is this two of pentacles, spirit? What is this two of pentacles? We have the knight of swords. Um, there is a drastic change that is happening that is forcing them into... They can't ride the fence anymore. Put it that way. And they kind of know it. And, you know, they're at a place of making the decision of, and they're going to be cutting somebody out. High Priestess. Uh, they may not be speaking about this right now. They may be keeping their thoughts and their feelings to themselves. But I do feel that they are going to open up. They are trusting in their intuition. Seven of Swords. This is cheating, lies, and deception. Your person may be being deceptive, whether you know about this or not, which my guides are saying you do know about it. Okay, Spirit is saying some of you know, some of you don't. But there seems to be a little bit of deception, something a little bit hidden under the surface that technically... They could be considered committing adultery or committed or being or cheating right now. Um, but they're being deceptive in some way, shape, or form, whether they're deceiving you or this other person that they are trying to break free from or both. Okay. There's definitely passionate communications. I do see that between the two of you. But there's passionate communications, but they're not making a move at this point in time. Eight of Pentacles, work. Um, they've put a lot of work into something, a lot of contemplation, but I feel that there is a block, and I feel it, again, we're coming back to finances here. Money is the name of the game. Queen of Pentacles, absolutely. She's holding that golden coin. A lot of earth energy, I swear you're dealing with an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who is trying to manage things, trying to gain some kind of control, trying to take a practical approach to the situation. 
but I think I feel like that they are so centered about what they have, their belongings, their possession, their bank account. And that's why they are putting you on hold, Sagittarius. Under the deck is the tower. Um, a shocking revelation. I'm feeling like there is a shocking, a shocking revelation that is occurring that maybe you, if you did not know about this person, it is coming out. And it's going to be unexpected. It may rock your world a little bit. Um, and I feel that it depends on how you handle things. But I feel that there is a, I do feel a very shocking revelation. So right now you're sitting in this energy of being very happy with this person. Even though they're not fully committed yet, you're very optimistic about it, but they have somebody else. They have something that they're trying to break free from, and because of that, they're not able to commit. And there is some kind, there's something that's gonna fall. This, their relationship here is crashing down, um, and, they, and this is about rebuilding. So they may be, they're, I feel like they're gonna be in the energy of wanting to rebuild a solid foundation with you. Now you may feel that for some of you, this could be a deal breaker. Like, why did you hide this from me? You didn't have to hide this. I, I would have understood. For others of you, you know, this could be just um, shocking. This could be even a, some of you, this could be shocking news that it's finally over. Some of you might have been sitting in the energy of, will when will this beautiful energy occur? And it's occurring soon. Take it as it resonates, okay? But there's definitely a tower moment coming. There is a fall. There is a crash. There is a crumbling of a foundation. And then rebuilding. And I feel more as though, I'm feeling like you both sides are dealing with some past issues. People of your past. And... You know, maybe perhaps the tower on both sides, the tower's falling for you. And you both are going to come together and rebuild. I do still feel this very beautiful energy because this person over here is going to put you on a pedestal. They have not been happy where they've been and they see an opportunity with you. Okay, so let's dig in a little bit deeper. Hey, Spirit, give me my card. Thank you. Positive energy. So, at the time of this reading, you know where each side stands, where your person stands. Your person's trying to break free of something. Now, there is still positive energy between the two of you. Okay? Um, surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Okay? You might have to take a step back from this person and let them resolve their issues. Okay? Um, you are already in the process of resolving your own. You are breaking free from any negativity that you had gone through in the past. Your person's in the process. Okay? So there's a, lo there's a lot of patience that needs, to, that needs to take place here. And you just got to keep up the positive attitude. Okay, Spirit, please give me my card. Thank you. Breaking free. There you go. So, there is a lot of positive energy. This is about breaking free from restraints. Breaking free from negative energies. Your person's in the process of breaking free.
Okay, Spirit, give me my card. What is my card for Sagittarius? Opportunity. So you do have a golden opportunity for true happiness and true love here, Sagittarius. It is happening, my friends. It is happening. It's just about being patient and letting things unfold, okay? Staying positive. Okay, we are going to get some Magi Method cards. G Spirit. Okay. Lovers. Cup overflowing. Wow. There is definitely a shit ton of love here between the two of you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Roses. There's a lot of love, a lot of romance, very strong attraction, flirting going on. Lovers. This is a true love connection, Sagittarius. A true love connection. Okay, we're going to add the digits up and get the underlying card, the underlying energy. So we have a 5 and a 10, which is 15. Okay, 15 is 4 leaf clover. And so that is luck coming. A window of opportunity is happening. Luck is turning around. Luck is on your side. So beautiful reading for you, Sagittarius. I'm jealous. Love it. So again, if this resonates with you or whatever, please, please do give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel a lot. And that's what I have for you. I love you all and blessed be.